Well, welcome back to Momodomodora. Last time, we said we were going to fight the boss and not get hit. This could take a while. Alright, let's go. And... I couldn't see the particle effect me that hit. That did less damage than I thought. So we're actually not going to use that item. Do we have any other? Nope, we're not using Tainted Mist. So I don't know if that, uh. If that. Let me switch this. I don't want to poison myself. Oh, and it's right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. In this version, it's the same fight as last time. She has all the same moves. But they're slightly different now. They're slightly differently timed, and it's really mean. For example, this one is triple waved. That used to be. Did I switch? Nope. That one used to be where. Sorry. Uh, she fired up only one. This is double now. Come on, come on. This is tripled as well. It's all basically she tripled some moves, she doubled some other moves. Back to the instant kill move again. It's double timed. All right, let's go. Get back up here. She actually. The thing about this fight is you have, you spend most of it dodging. I got, I, I got risky that time. Uh, at a certain HP threshold, I believe she actually starts, she destroys the stage a little, and it's kind of annoying. Alright. Honestly, her, oh, sorry. I want to do this without taking damage. I want to get all the items, now that I know that's a thing. Honestly, um... Using shit, nah, nah, wasted. Might as well use all of those items because they actually do a good amount of damage. And dodge, dodge. That one has a weird delay. You gotta get used to. I rolled in the hole. <laughs> oh man. Damn it, you guys missed this. Can't beat the boss fun boss times. I was able to see the particle effects that time. Alright. After this, I'll use a, another cast of the spell. Dreads. <sighs> Didn't die. That one's a lot harder, I think. That's one of our hardest to uh, time correctly. Uh, because um, it's not usually you time it. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, she just slapped. That's it. Uh, let's just see if I can get some poison. Also, uh, she, oh, she got rid of some of the stage. Yeah, she was poisoned there for a minute. Um, also, I, like, uh, okay, I don't know what I was trying to say. It took me a minute. Uh, cast this right here. The one she kept doing there, that one, I couldn't see... I, I try to get two cast in. I was greedy. Okay. Something I learned when I was off camera, getting back up to this point, was I'm very greedy on camera. I can't be that greedy. So let's cast one. Look for what spell she casts. I was looking in the air, not at the ground. 
See, it's a good, it does a lot of damage, but it really clogs up the screen, which I think is actually what they were planning for it to do to balance that out. Because it does, it does good damage. I think it's time for that. Putting two waves on that is so rude. I actually ran away with that one. And roll, roll. Now, if you notice that last wave there, the one, the one in the middle, is actually um, differently timed. Actually, I'm going to do something different here. The one in the middle is actually slightly delayed, so that's a mistake you can actually run into, which can cost you a no damage. the one that was mistimed that time. It was on the one on the left. I rolled into it. I mistimed that so badly. Alright. Oh, whoops. I still hit her when she was down there? I wonder. I actually considered only using arrows for this fight. I got greedy, I wanted to get a triple. What? Actually, why did I get greedy? I think a point blank one would have hit with the spread out arrows and not the in arrows. Test something. Does this still hit her? Nope. Oh, it does. That's weird. Alright, they gotta get some poison damage on her. It damages her when she's off the screen. I actually think I might only, I think I might do that instead of just shooting. I should just aim for damage off the screen. So she does a lot of off screen damage. I'm immune to poison, so this should work. Oops, I missed that horribly. Yep, that's the way to do this. I've started to realize that the bow is actually just the best weapon in this game, hands down. There's nothing better. Oops. Like, it's weird, especially with the poison. But, that's, I got greedy with the bow. Because the bow has the short... Like, I think you can... Oh, you can. Okay, I don't know. Shit. Anyway, whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna start using only the bows. Doesn't even do it. Oh, that 
can be difficult because you don't have much roll room at all. Well, let me charge this up first. Ugh. It wasn't for the fact I cared about this item bonus. This one would be taking nearly as long. All the um, the effect for the falling things on the side and in register it was the one in the middle as well. Did I not? That doesn't make me immune. I guess it just makes it so it's very unlikely. By the way, there, there you go. There's proof that you can poison yourself with the poison item. Oh, that my whole strategy I'm doing. That's why they make the dull pearl here. They make the dull pearl a viable item here, so you can do the strategy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Dig, I can dig. Oh, you know what I could actually do to... Actually, no, I can't, because I can't. I can't hold the charge and roll. It's just a flaw. I can charge up to it. Sick dodges. Yes, I did it. She, I, assuming she gives a bonus item. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. So you die. I died. Whoops. <laughs> uh, to be honest, the first time that happened, I actually. Oh, no. Okay, I do get a bonus item. First time it actually happened, I actually did believe I died, and it freaked me out. Torn Branch. Restores a small amount of HP per kill. The White Leaf Park, affected by the Queen's sorcery, was displaced towards the bottom of the city. It was infested by underwater, underworld spirits, and demons such as the immortal witch, Lubella. It's a good item. Ooh, by like Magnet Stone. But uh, Torn sounds really good. Eh. Oh, by the way. Yes. Yes, I am a cat. Thank you for noticing. I am a kitty now. So remember when I said countless, countless times. Man, if only this game... Oh, by the way, I'm just under the park. Man, if this game must have a morph ball. I wonder when I get the morph ball. Say hello to the morph ball. And this game's version of the Morph Ball is, in fact, a cat. And it is the absolute cutest Morph Ball of all time. There's an ivory bug. And what makes this Morph Ball even better is you can fight in it. Uh, it's actually this way I want to go, I think. There's a... As you can see, like, you can fight in this morph ball. It's super cute. Uh... Oh, wait, here it is. There's a secret path over here that leads to this guy, which I don't understand. Yeah. 
You can just wail on him. I don't get it. It's, I just don't get the joke here. He's eating a cake. Can't kill him either. He's just here. Is that even a room on the map? It is. By the way, you make a cute cat sound when you get it hit. I am getting hit a lot. I'll just... I, I got all the rooms down here, okay. Well, I'll just get out. You got the cat spear. Cat spear. This one allows us to turn from human to cat. Now, I believe there was a hidden path somewhere around here. I will actually, I, I'll go ahead and say this now, I actually really like to travel around as the cat form. Cat form can't climb uh, ladders though, that's the downfall. But, cat form can do everything else. Uh, was there a secret path? No, no. I didn't go down up there because that's to the lava place. Um, it's actually faster to go this way. Uh, you'd imagine the next destination we'd want to go to is the water place that we've been to before. Nope. Oh, look at that little butt wiggle. Look at that bow wiggle. Nope, we don't want to go to the water place. Because while it is good for us to eventually go there, because it has obviously one of the items we need to get the game, beat the game. And uh, actually, the, the boss there actually isn't that bad. There's a more important item this way first. Well, look at that. So we can't go down here yet because we need to fix this first, which we don't have the ability to yet. Oh, the cat form is so much fun. Rawr. Kitty form. Um, is there any kitty spots down there? No, I can't think of any. So we're gonna head back and then call it an episode this way. Meow. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Ouchie. Just look at him run. So cute. Oh, here's the lady. Yeah, she just tells us she's out into the forest, I believe. I oh, you're still alive, even though you're a cat. Just myself last time. My name is Ari. Nice to meet you. You came here as well. Mmm, safer than the city. Yeah. People have become shapeless monsters. I know. Yeah. Alright, so next time on Momodora, we go into the forest and we get things. Wiggle, wiggle. See you all next time.